Ah, university. The first time you're able to truly spread your wings, stand on your own two feet, play as many drinking games as you want, and, oh, well, get an education. Unfortunately, all these experiences come with a pretty hefty price tag, at least if you're living in the United States. But how much can an education really cost you? I'm Mr. Luxury, and I'm going to take a look at the 10 most expensive universities in the world and see exactly what you get for your money. Number 10. Sarah Lawrence College Ranking in at number 10, we have Sarah Lawrence College, totaling at a whopping $71,270 per year for tuition, room, and board. It's safe to say that even at its rank as our least expensive, this college is still pricey. Located in Yonkers, New York, this liberal arts college offers bachelor's and associate's degrees on a stunning campus that's 44 acres, peppered with several auditorium performing arts centers, and historic buildings. With its primary focus on progressive education, this college likes to keep things on the small side. With only 1,300 students, Sarah Lawrence is the least populated college on our list. However, the small class size comes at an advantage. Students at Sarah Lawrence have more one-on-one -on -one time with faculty than any other university in America. Its progressive nature also gives it one additional feature not found in most colleges. It's its dorms and apartments on campus offer all-gender housing. It's no wonder notable alum like J.J. Abrams and Vera Wang chose to study here. Number 9. Southern Methodist University At $71,338 per year, Southern Methodist University is just a tad more expensive than Sarah Lawrence. Located in Dallas, the campus just goes to prove that things really are bigger in Texas. Made up of 131 buildings spread across 234 acres, it's often ranked as one of the most beautiful colleges in America. But what exactly does one do with all this space? mostly tailgating. Southern Methodist University is one of the top party schools in the country, with a fierce love of sports and their beloved team, the Mustangs. Despite the tailgating, this university has a well-respected educational system, with only a 49% admission rating and alum like Laura Bish and Kathy Bates. Don't let the name fool you, either. Though the name harkens back to their religious founding, the school is no longer affiliated with any specific religion. In other words, all are welcome to drop approximately $285,000 for a four-year degree. Number 8. Oberlin College Oberlin College takes us north to Oberlin, Ohio, with a hefty price tag of $71,392 per year. The earliest founded co-educational college on our list, this historic college was founded in 1833. Its massive, 440-acre tree-lined liberal arts campus is certainly something to marvel at. Oberlin has made its mark as a university that's all about art and entertainment, with an art museum museum on campus, a coffee shop with a stage for spoken word, and even a bowling alley. There's plenty to keep its artistically focused students distracted from the cost of their tuition. Because of Oberlin's long-standing history, its notable alums span from Thornton Wilder to Lena Dunham. Number 7. The University of Southern California The University of Southern California rolls in at number 7, with its tuition, room, and board adding up to a shocking $71,620 per year. The biggest university of our list with approximately 46,000 students. That doesn't necessarily mean anyone who applies gets in. Only 12% of freshman applicants are admitted per year. Luckily, the 88% who are rejected get to miss out on some massive student debt. Located in sunny Los Angeles, the college is actually comprised of two campuses, a University Park campus and a health and science campus located a few miles away. With 95 undergraduate majors and 147 professional minors offered, there's plenty for everyone, but one program in particular is a huge draw for many. USC is well known for its cinema program and close proximity to all things Hollywood. Within walking distance to music venues like like the Shrine and the Coliseum, there's plenty to keep its huge class entertained. 
Number six, Trinity College. Coming in at number six, we've got Trinity College in Hartford, Connecticut. At $71,660 per year, it's a hair more expensive than USC. So, what would you get for those extra few dollars? With 990 courses in 41 majors, Trinity College still manages to maintain a relatively small class size. One thing that really makes Trinity College stand out from the competition is its intense focus on sustainability and progressive activates for its students. All the food on campus is locally sourced, and gardens on campus are maintained by the students. Aside from its huge variety of classes, Trinity has had a huge focus on sports, specifically some of the more refined sports in life. With horse riding, yoga, and polo available to the students, the actives here definitely feel like a reflection of that huge tuition cost. Number five, Scripps College. Number five brings us back to sunny Southern California for Scripps College, which rings in at $71,956 per year. Located in Claremont, California, just outside of LA, Scripps College is a member of the Claremont Colleges, a group of seven prestigious, highly selective universities. One of the few female-only colleges on our list, it's also one of the smallest, with a 32-acre campus, but that small size doesn't necessarily mean it's a dump. Registered as a historic landmark, the college is covered in several gardens, including a nationally ranked rose garden and a fruit tree orchid, where students can pick their own fruit at their leisure. With 50 majors available, this liberal arts college is a dream for many. But are the prestigious reputation and rose gardens enough to drop a little over a quarter million dollars for a bachelor's degree? Well, that's for you to decide. Number four, Bernard College. Bernard College in New York clocks in at approximately $72,257 per year. Another women's only liberal arts college. Bernard also has 50 majors available. Created as an alternative to Columbia University when it was a male only school, Bernard is located directly across the street from Columbia and it even shares several of its facilities. Although it's the smallest campus on our list at a measly four acres, the campus Campus does have the benefit of being located in the heart of Manhattan. Despite its prestigious reputation, Bernard is a fan of hosting rather weird events, with a midnight breakfast held annually before finals, and even a big sub event where a 700 foot long sub is created. Number three, Columbia University. If we hop right across the street, we'll find Columbia University, ringing in at a whopping 74,000 per year. The fifth oldest university and one of the most selective in the country, Columbia boasts a 5% acceptance rate, beaten only by Harvard University. But what makes this university so prestigious? Well, in short, its alum includes three US presidents, 10 Supreme Court justices, 96 Nobel laureates and 38 Academy Award winners. Columbia also hosts the fifth largest library in the United States, with 12,901,785 volumes held within its historic building. Is that enough for the nearly $300,000 four years of school here would cost you out of pocket? Well, it's hard to say. Number two, the University of Chicago. Our runner-up for the most expensive college in the world is the University of Chicago at $74,580. If you thought Columbia was impressive with its alum, let's just take a look at the University of Chicago. With a hundred alum who have earned the Nobel Prize, the University of Chicago has the highest concentration of winners out of any university in the world. The crowning achievement of this college, look no further than in its business, medical, and political science schools. With 51 academic majors and 33 minors, hundreds of world leaders and CEOs have graduated from the University of Chicago. And that's great, because you're going to need a good job to pay off those student loans. Number one, Harvey Mudd College. Ranking in at the most expensive college in the world, we have Harvey Mudd College at $75,000 per year. A member of the Claremont Colleges, like Scripps College, Harvey Mudd is located directly across the street from Scripps in Claremont, California. Known for its academic rigor, Harvey Mudd has extremely advanced classwork and above average standards. The most surprising, Harvey Mudd is considered a liberal arts school, even though the only 
only majors offered are in science and engineering. The school has a heavy focus on creating well-rounded students and future leaders. But how effective is this approach? Well, with a group of alumni comprised of two astronauts and dozens of CEOs, it seems like it works quite well for its graduates. So, there you have it, the 10 most expensive universities in the world. Do you think the cost is worth the education you would receive at these fine institutions? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you could go to any college in the world, where would you go? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.